Instead of programming manually patched fixtures, I would like to show you now how simple it is to work with matrix systems inside of the EQ programmer. Therefore, we would like to import a patch file via File, Import, Patch. You can create a tutorial.patx file by following the Patchler video tutorial. After the import, we can find 1600 RGB faders called unit inside of the fixtures window. Taking a look at the preview and zooming out a little bit, we can see that it's 40 by 40 pixels. We can now select them one by one inside of the fixture window by clicking on them or right clicking and use them all and change the values. We can also do color spreads by clicking onto the color picker and setting a color. In this case I would like to do a color spread. This can now be easily saved as a queue by opening up the queue list and pushing the record queue button. Let's close the queue list window for now and clear the programmer and do an effect on it by using all and then clicking on to DFX create button. I can now select which color channel I would like to add an effect to. I can set the touch position, so the start position of the effect. And I can choose out of the functions available inside the function dropdown. In order to have a better visualization of the sinus curve function, just click onto the mode button. So as you can see, the complete matrix system is now fading up from 0 to 100 and back. Right clicking onto the channel will bring us back into the FX create dialog, where we can change the values. Let's do a speed spread. So now we have two functions over each other, running onto the channels. Going back into the FX create dialog, we can change the values. And I will change here from a speed spread and to a phase shift spread. If you would like to save an effect, simply just head over to a queue list, open it up, and click onto the record queue button. 